and welcome to another episode of Brad's Angling Adventures. I'm in the car with the wife who's hiding. <laughs> um, we're going fishing. We've got the gear in the car. Just bought some provisions. Um, just waiting for the tackle shop to open. And then we are off to New Claygate Lakes, which is in Marden, did we say Marden? Marden. Near Tum, not, not far from Tunbridge Wells. Tunbridge. Not far from Tunbridge. I stand corrected. So you should. Even be. though she didn't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're just waiting for the tackle shop to open so we can get a, get some maggots, and then we'll be on the road. <laughs> general rules and back to the lakes and the car park um, we are basically going to fish right here okay on Lake Eva um, that's basically our swim right there and a double swim We've got plenty of room, and that is how close we are to the swim in the car park. So, can't really ask much more than that. Um, we've seen a few fish showing. There's the wife setting up her chair. And we're going to get set up and get some fishing done. So, I'll see you all in a minute. Right, so, we're at Claygate. We're all set up and we're fishing. Um, we've already done a little bit of fishing. Um, I've had two fish. The wife's had one fish so far. So, we're starting to catch. I'll just show you what I'm using. All I'm using is my pole today, at the moment. Um, I've got my pole out at the full 13 meters that it fishes to um, I've got a seven pound main line to a is a four four by fourteen float um, down to a Six pound hook length and a size 16 Guru MWG hook. And all I'm using on that is two maggots, a red one and a white one. And I've got Guru pole pot on with a little sort of comb lid on it so I can keep the maggots in while I'm shipping out and get them to where they need to be. So I'll get baited up and see if we can get a fish on camera. The wife sent her a fish on her pole. Don't do the camera, As you can see. Oh no, it's gonna go That end. You can't hold that end. Yeah, you can. Yeah, I'll show you. I think it's come off. Oh, no. No. That's it, let it go. Let it go. That's it. Ooh. Don't worry. Ooh. Ooh. I think it's come off. It's not come off, but it's come under there. Maybe we'll 
going on it. Number two. Oh, I thought that was the map. Oh, is it? <laughs> He's quite big. Oh. Right, put him down. Put him down. We'll settle down. Your wife's second fish of the day. Poor thing. Not a poor thing. Because <laughs> he's going back. He'll be all right. <laughs> So it goes back for like another day. <laughs> oh, right, I've set up the Shimano Force Master. It's a 10 foot mini float rod, but I'm using it as a, as a feeder. Um, works just as well. Um, I've got a Shimano 4000 FB reel, um, seven pound main line, down to a Guru hybrid feeder, which is a 24 gram, six inch, six pound of length, with a 16 Guru MWG hook, and a bright yellow ringers bandum. Um, two mil, just normal two mil coarse pellet soaked down, um, are going into the hybrid feeder. Few in the bottom, like that. Put your band them in, and then a few over the top, like that. And then just as a little added bonus for the fish, drop of pineapple smoke goo on the top and then all I'm doing a, is an underarm flick just to um, just short of the island in front of me
Oh, he's let go of it. <laughs> wasn't a vicious take, so I don't think he had that properly. Let's try again. Hopefully you can see the rod at the bottom of the screen.
drop back then. You want to vicious take. It's just got a little bit of tension on it. Well, hopefully you can see it on the camera. Got a little bit of tension on it and it just dropped back. Rather than taking the tip of the rod round. into a fish as well. There we go. Another one in the net. There you go. Me and the wife. Double head of fish. That one's her one. She'd say that one's hers, but it's not. That one's hers. <laughs> that one's mine. Both caught on. Were well, you using double maggot? Yeah. Yeah, both caught on using... Well, she's using double maggot. I'm using a method feeder. She's on the pole. Double maggot on the pole. Red maggot you're using, isn't you? Yeah. yeah. Double red maggot on the pole. And I'm using my method feeder with the soaked 2 mil pellet and a yellow ringers band them on and there they go everyone's a swimmer right just had that double letter for me and the wife we'll have another go Let's see what's out there Sink the line, tighten down, hold it over with nice and loose. Just keep a little bit of tension. You see the, hopefully you see there's a slight bend in the end of the rod. And so for that last one, it's going to go one or two ways. It's going to drop back so that there's no bend in it, or it's going to pull away. Out, I think I'm just holding, holding the rod on my leg. I've only got the one rod out today because of all accounts this place could be quite prolific as we know now because the wife's into another fish <laughs> I'm not but the wife is um, but yeah this lake could really look quite prolific and if we've got two rods out and um, it's just going to end up in chaos so I've only got the one rod out Wife needs some help. Come on. I'm going to reel in and we'll go and see what she's got. Let's go and see what the wife's got. Oh, <laughs> 
the internet. <laughs> You're not going to start catching more than me. <laughs> it's a nice fish. Calm him down a bit. There we go. Calm him down. We'll get him unhooked. Get a picture of him. Put him back. Hopefully you can see the gentleman over there in the top of the screen. He's, uh, he's the father of the owner of the fishery. And he obviously fishes here quite a bit because he's been pulling fish out of there like they're going out of fashion. So, he obviously knows what he's doing. He uh, fishes here quite a lot, as I would if my son owned a fishery. Bitter. <laughs> I'm not bitter, just a bit twisted. <laughs> He was he was fishing tight to the island earlier on, and he came around and spoke to us. He said it was his swim was absolutely bubbling with fish. All he's been fishing is um, banded pellet. He's been feeding four mil pellets and they were the six mil banded onto the hook. And that's what he's been catching all day.
see I'm in the net don't get my hooks another fish <laughs> I'm all right. That's it, he's in the net. Day's fishing at Claygate Lakes. Um, I'll leave this link in the description to their website so you can have a look if you're nearby Claygate Lakes and you've never fished it before. Um, give it a look, quite a good place. Um, I'll definitely be going back there again. Um, between me and the wife, we've had quite a few fish between us. Um, uh, the best method for me today was the um, Guru Hybrid Feeder. We've soaked two mil pellet on the feeder um, and a bright yellow ringers bandum um, on a size 16 hook. Um, and I was also putting a little bit of pineapple pineapple goo on the top just to give it a bit of added added attraction. Um, in a quarter of a mile. And the wife, she um, she basically had them feeding out of her hand, really. She was fishing literally six inches deep. Um, she was fishing the length of the hook length, basically, um, on a banded halibut pellet, and they were swirling like no one's business. And we was virtually catching a fish a chuck. So that was our day's fishing. Um, all that's left to say is give us a like and subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications of when new videos are coming up and from me and the wife see you in the next video tight lines